Hey guys, it's Heather, and I am here today with Deck the Halls tag card. That's just so cute. This was inspired by um, an artisan card that I saw on Stampin' Up's website. So, let's get to it. We're going to be using the Carols of Christmas um, stamp set that, remember, we Stampin' Up is going to be offering all its customers. You can pre-order this. Which means you can get it before the catalog actually goes live as of August 1st. And that is in two days, guys. Two days. Oh, look. Ink. Go figure, right? With a, a paper crafter and ink on her fingers. And then I also use the card front builder thinlet dies. Um, these go along with the Carols of Christmas set. And um, I'm really getting a lot of use out of these. It's been a, a lot of fun. So, let's start. First... You're going to cut your chocolate chip card base, which is an eight and a half piece of paper, or sorry, eight and a half piece of cardstock, cut in half vertically. And then you're going to score it at five and a half, which is in the middle, and then fold it over. Next, you're going to cut a piece of the wood texture designer series paper to four by five and a quarter. And you want to make sure that your wood grain is running vertically when you cut your paper. You also want to go with a darker wood grain, more towards the black side, um, just so that it will go along with, oh, that's neat too, along with your black ink for your tag. Yeah, I like that side better. Well, see, they're both good. Yeah, we're going to go with the darker of the two. You're going to adhere your designer series paper onto your card front. We're going to set this aside for just a moment while we make our tag. And then you're going to use crumb cake cardstock and you're going to cut a piece to three inches by four and a half. And we're going to punch a circle at the top, which I forgot my punch. Sorry. You're going to want to I have an older Stampin' Up! punch, but you're going to want a half an inch punch at the top. And then to make your tag, what I did, this is how I make my tags. I use a ruler and a piece and a pencil and I measure down. And then I mark half an inch. Then I measure in from the same corner, half an inch. Same thing here, measure down, half an inch. Half an inch. Then I use my scissors and I just line up my two marks and cut. You can also do it on the paper trimmer. This is just quicker. Now I've got my card. All right. We're going to use Old Olive ink. We're going to antique, antique the sides. This is going to bring in some of the green onto the tag. And I just kind of run it around there and kind of just a little bit that's left on my sponge. I just kind of do that. I'm going to leave that open though because we're going to be antiquing some other things. Oops. We're going to use our Stays On Jet Black ink. And we're using the Deck the Halls stamp. And you're going to want to make sure that you're stamp is well inked. And you're going to put it right in the middle. Mm 
pretty good. My deck's a little light, but I'm okay with that. Put that aside. All right, next we're going to die cut. Use our dies. We're going to use the deer. Now, what I did was, if I could pick him up, because he's weirdo, I die cut my deer out of the scrap of the wood grain that I had left. So, you're going to want to die cut your deer and just set him aside. And then you're going to use both of the pine tree. You need one of the double trees cut out. You need three of the single trees. And I use the garden green cardstock to cut the trees out. And then I use the old olive with my sponge. I just went over the tips like this. And then I kind of very lightly went in the center just to give it a little bit more green, just to give it some depth. Get my little pieces of my sponge I flicked off. I used my the mini pop-up dots for the um, for two of the trees and I used my snail for the others so we're gonna start with the double and I just put a little bit oops, in the center like this And I did bring them down a little bit off the card. This one's a little lower than my other one, but that is okay. And I put some snail on a single one, brought it over here, and I kind of tilted it. Then these are the two you're going to pop up. I just, let's put our deer on first, and it's going to go on with some snail. And he's, we're gonna put him right here at the edge of this tree, all the way at the bottom on the edge. And then the other two, I went a little bit lower. And on this one, Right there. So let's get some of our mini pop-up dots. We have a good idea where to put place them on the back. For now, you're going to want to go ahead and let your trees just kind of hang off the bottom. Whoops, that was. Let's come over more. There we go. Next to I put two right next to each other on this one. Let's see here. And it's gonna go right here. Now we have all these hanging off, right? So what we're gonna do is trying to find the right scissors. Okay, these are the paper ones. You're gonna come over to the back, take your scissors and trim straight across the bottom of the tag. Okay. See how these are just kind of popped up? Then you're going to use a four inch piece of the, oh, the garden green, three eighths inch satin ribbon. You're going to bring it through. I think I used a smaller punch on the other card. I think it's one we don't have anymore. That's why I switched to the half. Okay. This way. Yes. Okay. Now, the ribbon has a shiny 
satin side and then it has the little we can see the stitches it looks like they're embossed you want the shiny satin side out so put it through your hole not like it's big and I can't get it sorry if I got my head in the way so you're gonna put it through the hole and then you're gonna take a piece of linen thread this is way more than I'm gonna need but I have fat finger syndrome which means I can't time very well do they have fat fingers it's horrible not really and you're going to tie a double knot I always play with it, the little um, satin ribbon behind so that it lays the way I want it to. There's the double knot. Go ahead and tie your bow. Here's where the fat finger syndrome comes into play. Really? Hmm. Get in there. Thank you. And then pull it tight. I want that bow just a little bit smaller, so I'm going to work with it a little bit. I'll be there in a minute, Jill. Stop it. <laughs> Jill's getting in trouble. Nice that it's not me for a change. And then we're going to just cut the bow away, the ribbon away from the bow, like this. Or I'm sorry, the thread away. And then we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. I use five, one in the top and bottom corners, and one in the middle. Okay, just gonna kind of put it on cockeyed. And we're gonna trim down the top of the bow. I do it so it's just above the card. So I do one this direction and I'll do the one above a little bit taller this direction. And then when you put it in your envelope you can always put that over the, the top of it. So there you have it. The Deck the Halls card. I really enjoy this set and I hope you will too. Like I said, you'll be able to pre-order this set from the holiday catalog before it ever comes out this Tuesday, August 1st, 2017. If you have any questions, let me know. You can email me at stampingwithheather123 at gmail.com or leave me a comment on the blog. Until later, guys. See ya. Bye.